Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS provides more forms, letters, and publications in multilingual and alternative formats. Spanish Braille now available. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. Everything these days is all out of whack. And I like it when stuff is in whack, not out of whack. It's totally okay to be out of woke, but not out of whack. In fact, if you find yourself in woke, it's a good sign you've gotten out of whack. It's totally understandable when people try to get back in whack, they end up driving towards woke, even though it's basically the opposite direction, because woke and whack sound so similar. Maybe people are just misreading the direction signs when they're trying to get back in whack, making a wrong turn towards woke. And once you make that initial wrong turn, the road signs get all messed up as you drive down the woke road until they're completely unreadable. It's like they're written in another language entirely. I mean, who made up this new vocabulary? You end up feeling out of place, a foreigner in a strange land who can't even determine which bathroom you're supposed to use. Donde esta el baño para un hombre? But unfortunately, the new language is way more confusing than Spanish. Every new term having at least 10 different definitions, definitions which are completely malleable on a day-to-day -day basis, dictionary writers these days being more busy than they were even at the time of the invention of the written word. IR 2022-58, March 15, 2022, Washington. In an effort to provide American taxpayers with the service they deserve, the Internal Revenue Service announced today the latest expansion of its multilingual products. Braille, text, audio, and large print products are now available in Spanish. The agency's alternative media center, the AMC, is converting IRS Form 1040, its main schedules, and six publications in Spanish, Braille, and large print. This announcement highlights the agency's commitment to make alternative format documents and multilingual resources available to those who need them. The IRS also has a, lingu a languages webpage. There's a link to the languages webpage here available in 20 languages to help taxpayers find basic tax information, such as how to check a refund status, pay taxes, or file a federal tax return. Quote, it's critical that the IRS provide information to people in multilingual languages and formats to help them meet their tax responsibilities and receive important tax credits, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick, quote, This is another milestone in our ongoing efforts to expand our assistance in two more people. I'm extremely proud of our employees' significant efforts and strong desire to make a huge positive difference in these areas during the last several years, which has been assisted by our partners in the nation's tax community. We are proud to continue focusing on this area, end quote. Additional IRS multilingual resources are down below. There's links to them. IRS free file. There's a link to that here. Offers eight free electronic tax preparation and filing options in English and in Spanish. The, the Let Us Help You page. There's a link to that here. Available in seven languages. A Spanish language version of Form 1040. And the related schedules are also available. Links to them here. Form 1040 Schedule LEP in English and Spanish with instructions available in English and 20 other languages can be filed with a tax return by those taxpayers who prefer to communicate with the IRS in another language. The Taxpayer Bill of Rights, link to that here, outlined in Publication 1, your rights as a taxpayer is available in 20 languages. Taxpayers can view and download several tax forms and publications such as Publication 17, your federal income tax in Spanish, Chinese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional, Korean, Russian, and Vietnamese. Alternative media sources for blind, sight-impaired individuals. Taxpayers can download forms and instructions from the Accessible Forms and Publications page on irs.gov or request copies by calling. Uh, there's a number here. I won't say the number here, but there'll be a link to this in the description so you can get that number. Uh, tax forms and publications are available in a variety of formats, including text-only, braille read files, browser-friendly HTML, accessible PDF, and large print. 
The latest enhancement to IRS accessibility services. Taxpayers can complete Form 9000 Alternative Media Preference. There's a link to that here to choose to receive their IRS notice or letter in Braille, large print, audio, and electronic formats. Taxpayers can include the completed form with their tax return, mail it as a standalone form to the IRS or call 800-829-1040. There'll be a link to this here so you can look at that number again in more depth. To elect their professional format, Form 9000 is also available in Spanish, Braille, and large print. Taxpayers who have already received a notice or letter in print format and prefer Braille, large print, audio, or text and do not have an alternative media designation on file at the IRS can choose one of the options below to request their preference. Facts. Their notice with a cover sheet to the AMC at 855-473-2006. The cover sheet should include their name, address, phone number, and desired format of the document. Mail their notice or a letter with a note stating the preferred format too and there's a mailing address here you can look up if you want to request it in that format call the irs accessibility helpline at 833-690-0598 to get help with transcribing information visit information about alternative media center page of irs.gov for details how to get answers about irs accessibility services if a taxpayer has questions about IRS accessibility services, they can contact the Accessibility Helpline at 833-690-0598. Uh, help for multilingual taxpayers is also available on the helpline through the over-the-phone inter, uh, interpreter service. This helpline does not have access to taxpayers' IRS accounts, however. So those needing help with tax law, refunds, or other account-related issues should visit the Let Us Help You page on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to all this other stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.